Hey guys, Randy here with another unboxing. What we have today is a single book I bought for the personal collection. It's nothing back from CGC. Uh, we still have tons of uh, submissions at CGC. Uh, so I'm at CCS, prepping to go to CGC, but uh, due to holidays and all that, they're behind two to three weeks on um, receiving and then putting it into the account. And then on Pokemon cards, TCG, they're behind about a month. So they're pushing Pokemon cards at two months. And we'll find out about comics uh, and I'll have a better time. So with that being said, uh, real quick before I get to the unboxing, I wanted to show you. You guys did see the um, preview of the heat press. So we have it right here. Uh, this total press uh, cost about 220 to 30. Uh, you can see the features on it, um, right there, on off switch reset, it's really nice, easy to move around, um, just got done using it actually, uh, I'm testing it, figuring out proper temperature that I want, uh, I was just doing Pokemon cards, ones that were waterlogged as a good test. Um, I did manage to successfully help those water log cards out, so I will be sending those to CGC just to see how much of a difference I made. Uh, what else we got? Right here is the homemade chamber for humidity. So I'll show you really quick. It's pretty simple. Um, it needs to be completely uh, sealed. So I made my own version. I'll just move this right here. We'll just set it down. Um, I use these instead of cylinders. These are regular just aluminum foil. Um, just has to be room temperature water. Uh, and I just cut the bottom so the water could come up there. It needs to be a perforated grate. So look at this, nice lightweight material, put it right there, then you would use a towel, I'm showing this as I'm going, right there, so forth and so forth. You would put a board and bag here, then you would place the comic in, then you would put another bag and board. Uh, Usually magazine size, so it covers a whole comic, and then you would fold the towel over it. And what that is for, when you seal it, the humidity that builds up in here, if it comes to the top, it don't drip on the comic. This absorbs it, and it's just extra protection, but not fully allowing the comic to uh, get wet, just to increase the humidity inside it. Um, you do that for about four hours, take it out, and then you'll be ready to jump to the press. Uh, so with that being said, got the system worked out. I'm working out all the kinks, trial and errors, the best experience. So we're gonna close up shop. I gotta get out of the kitchen uh, before the wife and kids see it. And yeah, so now let me close up shop because I gotta bring it upstairs in the room. Uh, this is unplugged, turned off, great. I have paper here. Okay, let me move this. And we're going to get right into the comic. So, before I do this, I made the mistake, and I'm stating it here, I'm wearing those collectibles live, that I have a 2021 comic book want list and I thought about it hard and there's a million comics that I do want but I thought of the top five and then I slipped a couple into the honorable mention so they're in no particular order uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you uh, some of the books um, 
And then after I tell you that, I will do a video sometime this week on 2020's top five books that we had on the channel. Uh, whether it was a value or just favorite, whatever. So for number one, we have Uncanny X-Men 221. Uh, CGC 9.8, that is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. Okay, we have Iron Fist number 14. Uh, I'm hoping for an 8.5 or better. That is first Sabretooth. Uh, ASM 300, first Venom um, at an 8 or better. Uh, Giant Size X-Men number 1, uh, mid-grade or better. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, uh, Giant Size X-Men 1 was first appearance of New X-Men, uh, first appearance of Colossus, Thunderbird, Nightcrawler, Storm, uh, first new uh, appearance of the X-Men, uh, and I think second Wolverine or third Wolverine, something like that. Tomb of Dracula, number 10, first Blade, uh, mid to high grade, ASM number 50, first Kingpin, any grade. And House of Secrets, 92, mid to high grade, which is the first appearance of Swamp Thing. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I will now open up this book. Okay, let me set a spot. I'm just going to set it right here because I'm all over. And uh, a lot going on the past couple days. Alright. Okay, so this in here. Well packaged. Put that in there. We're not saving none of this, so it's all ready for the garbage. Stuff it right back in that box. All right. So this is the first book of the new year. Is it one on the list? I don't know. We're going to find out. bag open. I got tons of extra just if I need it. So, uh, here it is guys. It is Uncanny X-Men 221 CGC 9.8. This is the first book I had on my list. This is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister, Nathaniel Essex, Marauder's appearance. This book is averaging around 320 to 400, depending on where you're getting it from. But two times uh, the appearance of Mr. Sinister has showed up in movies. So this is a affordable key at a 9-8 white pages that you should be getting right now. And plus one of my favorite covers with Havoc, Blast and Wolverine. If you haven't read the book, definitely read it. But... So, there's one off the 2021 checklist, guys. So, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Hey, Elena. Uh, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and let's hope this uh, new year brings forth some good luck for all of us. Until next time, peace.